A new Russian law bans Americans from adopting Russian children. The law forbids some 700,000 orphans from going to Americans, and that is creating heartbreak for some would-be parents. John Wagi explains. Basketball stuff, toys. Michelle Mosley has quite a collection of clothes and toys. Christmas presents she and her husband Paul were gathering for a little one who would soon join them. We've always wanted to adopt. Mm. It's always been our heart, and we decided this is the time. The Christian Nebraska couple has a blog site telling of their wait for six-year-old Artem, who has spent his whole life in a Russian orphanage. His mother gave him up when she learned he had Down syndrome, but it was love at first sight for the Mosleys. The moment he walked in, we knew he belonged to the family. Um, you know, you go along your life, you know something's missing, something's mi or someone's missing your family. And when we met him, we knew that peace was fulfilled. Yeah. When you hear about his story and you start connecting and reading more about him, it's hard for me to uh, not think about him, not really want to take care of him. So we knew, I knew he was the one too, because you just, you get connected to these kids. Even though you can't see them on a daily basis, you read their story and how you wish that you could help them out. The Mosleys have endured extensive FBI background checks and spent up to $50,000 to make Artem part of their family. They had just one more court date. Then the Russian parliament passed a law in December banning U.S.-Russian adoptions, and President Vladimir Putin signed it, leaving the Mosleys in limbo. When the law passed, it was hard to tell my daughters that we might not get him because we've been preparing a whole year to have him. And so then to have to tell them that we might not get him because of politics, that's, that's the tough thing to break to anybody, you know, that we have no control over this and it's just retaliation and the innocent suffer. The Mosleys say they will work for years if need be to get Artem, even though they're greatly saddened by the Russian law. You can't stop loving him. You know, once you meet him and get to know him, you can't just make my heart and my mind just stop forgetting about him. So we'll wait. You can't make me forget about him. If it's five, if it's ten years, we'll get him then. The Mosleys hope that since they registered for our 10 before January 1st, the Russians will still approve their adoption. In the meantime, they wait for a court date to determine the next step. John Wagi, CBN News. And for more on this, George Thomas recently spoke with Sergei Rakuba. He's president of Russian Ministries, the group aids orphanage workers in Russia. Take a look. Can you tell us why Russia passed this law specifically uh, uh, preventing Americans from adopting Russian children? I think this is just a simple retaliation mm -hmm. against American legislature that just a few weeks before uh, American Congress banned um, Russian corrupt officials mm -hmm. from coming to the United States. And many other countries are thinking about following that uh, pattern. Uh, so that was a Kremlin retaliation, but not against American uh, politicians. Somehow they decided to retaliate against of their own children. That's the very sad uh, situation. There are about 750,000 uh, orphans and homeless children in, in Russia. What is the government then doing to, to help care, care for these kids? They think that they do a lot. They provide those buildings, they provide food, they provide free education. But the most, you know, that's what these children need. They need family care. They need a family that will provide love for them, that will love them, that will help them to go uh, over all those difficult issues when teenagers grow. Mm -hmm. And every child deserve, uh, deserves to be loved. And that's what this law proves, you know, so that unfortunately, this is, I call it, not just anti-American law, this is inhumane law. How does this new law, does it affect uh, the way you guys operate uh, at all? Yeah, this is not going to affect uh, our ministry in Russia, I don't think at all. Uh, but, uh, you know, what we are doing now, pushing harder the issue of mobilizing national Christian families. 
to adopt their own children. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, the number of orphans in those institutions is not decreasing, it's growing. And it shows, you know, clearly that there are some moral issues within the family, society, etc. And that's what we're trying to do through our program. It's called uh, a home for every orphan. And so that Christian families will uh, make a decision, uh, overcoming that stigma that is there in the Russian society against orphans, and will reach out to the orphan community and, and, uh, and adopt all those who need family, who need to uh, have a chance in life and uh, being raised in a situation of hope and uh, prosperity. Sergei Rokuba of Russian Ministries, as always, sir, great to have you on the show this week. Thank you so much, George.